Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. Good morning, y'all. All right, real quick. I said last night, I went live three times yesterday. I'm not going live three times today. At least I don't plan on it. But I told y'all last night on the last live that I was going to go live. Uh-oh. I was going to go. Ah, come on. I was going to go live this I was going to go live this morning. Uh, do my makeup and hair and stuff because uh, I had a little I had a little time before I had to go off to work because I go in. I don't have to get in until 1030 today. And like I was telling you guys, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. So um, just a little shout out to all the teachers out there holding it down. Um, even the stay at home uh, moms that are having to teach right now. Shout out to you. Who knew? Who knew? Yes. Teacher job is not easy. So anyway, I'm here. I got my coffee. I got my little makeup and I got the window open because I love the natural sunlight. Good morning. How you doing, sweet girl? How's my friend doing? So let's get started. I got to take my glasses off. Um, I don't have like my big... Oh, wait. Hold on, y'all. Check this out. Y'all think I'm playing when I say I like Wonder Woman. Look, y'all, those that have been around, the OGs uh, with me, um, I've had, this is my makeup bag. I've had this for a long time. And I got on my Wonder Woman shirt today. I'll show Let me give y'all a little peeky peek. It's my Wonder Woman shirt. Isn't it cute? Yes, I'm wearing that today. I just don't know if I want to wear the gold hoops or my Wonder Woman earrings. I wore my Wonder Woman earrings yesterday, but anyway, let's do my makeup. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna do nothing. I don't think I'm gonna do any too I'm not gonna do too much. For one, because I gotta I really gotta keep my eyes on the time, y'all, because I will get the book talking and um ooh. Okay, I think I wanna try this blue. Okay, because Wonder Woman, you know, she wore blue and red. I think I wanna try this blue right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do blue and some yellow. And I did a red lip yesterday, so I guess today I'll do like a little bit of a um, I'll do a neutral. I'll do a good morning. I'll do a um, a neutral lip, I think. But first things first, I gotta find. I was looking for my face lotion. We'll use some of this right here. I talk about this all the time. I really need to um, get. On, I really need to get online and order me some because this really this gone. Ain't nothing really in here. It's a little bit coming out. I need that little bit around my um, T zone area, like right around here. Well, oh, it feels so good. Y'all need to order some. Y'all, y'all remind me. Y'all remind me in the comments. If you're watching um, the replay, hashtag replay and say, hey, did you order your instant comeback? Don't forget to order it. Of course, I'm going to help. Girl, of course, I'll do your makeup for you. I'll do you a little light, a little light look. Yes, of course, dear. I got you. Oh, it's called um, Instant Comeback and it's by Benefit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ooh, my nail dirty. Anyway, there it is. And this is just a little um trial. Uh, the little it's empty, y'all. It's just a little um. Uh, good morning, friend. It's just a little sample, and I almost bought the big bottle. It's not cheap, in my opinion. It's not cheap, y'all know. I I don't. I, I it's expensive to me. Cause y'all know I don't like to spend money on stuff that I feel like I don't need. But after using this sample, and very seldom do I use a sample to it's like gone. Um, I definitely want this. I, I I want that in my life. I need it in my life because it literally makes my what it really if and it's to come back like my skin like I can just feel it. This feels so good, brightening it up. It brights up whatever. Anyway, let me do my eyebrows with my chocolate wasted. Um, pigment right there from Too Faced, the pumpkin and spice. Hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? 
So, uh, yeah, y'all, I already dropped, I told y'all I was going to drop the get up, drop the kids off and things like that. Now, let me tell y'all, y'all know yesterday I was telling y'all how I slept so good the night before, listening to the oceans and the waves and stuff on my little, um, on my little app. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all the, uh, I kept saying I was going to tell y'all the name of it. It's on iTunes. That's what it's called. That's what I be listening to to fall asleep. Well, last night, I didn't do it. Last night, I was too busy um, on my phone playing around on uh, Instagram and stuff. And then I fell asleep. And I fell asleep without the oceans and the waves. And I woke up in the middle of the night. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but I don't feel as refreshed as I did yesterday. Yesterday, I felt so refreshed. I could listen to my crash and my waves, you know? I don't know. I think I'm on to something. Well, not really me, but it works. Y'all did my nails yesterday. Y'all like my nails? Isn't it pretty? I did, honey. I did my nails. I did my nails. Me and BB, we did our nails together. That's something that we all we uh, usually do together. She did her nails. I did my nails. We sat in my room. Watched the movie and did our nails. Now, don't you go being mad at yourself if you do your eyebrows and it don't look exactly how you want it to be. Because as I always say, your eyebrows are sisters. They're not twins. So they don't have to be exactly the same, in my opinion. A French manicure? Yeah, I almost did a French manicure because my nails were all like the same right now. But... I went in the mood for a French manicure. I was in the mood to be bright. Um, especially since it's, uh, it was, you know, single de Mayo and it's Teacher Appreciation Week. And it's also Mother's Day. I was like, I want to do something bright. But the French tip is coming. I do like the word French tip. I really like the word French tip on my toes, to be honest with you. That's why I like the word French tip the most. All right. So it ain't like perfect because you see um i mean but my eyebrows to begin with are not they're not the same but i'm happy with that that look good to me i go with that okay i'm not tripping um i put a little bit of um what's this stuff called a little bit of this uh concealer on this feels good too i usually keep this in the refrigerator but um yeah i haven't been keeping it in the refrigerator lately not since we've been on this uh home and stay or what shelter in place stuff even though we've been on shelter in place i mean i still been having to get out and go to work but i'm not complaining i already got that on and actually i'm gonna put a little bit of in my uh on my eyelids too concealer usually helps your um pigment stick better if you don't have a, a primer I do have a primer, but I'm too lazy to go get it. It's in my closet in my big makeup bag. Oh, sound like the trash man is coming through. All right. Ready then. I had found my, y'all, I found my beauty blender when I was cleaning my room. But I don't want to go get that. So I'm being lazy again, so I'm just going to use this to uh, to put it in. Now, y'all, if I wasn't um, recording live or recording a video, uh, a lot of times when I do my makeup, if I'm not doing it on camera, I listen to music. I listen to music when I clean up. Yes, I like to listen to music. Do y'all usually listen to music when y'all do y'all makeup? If you do your makeup or when you clean up, when you go to clean your car out, you know, stuff like that. What the heck? <sighs> All right. We got that on. That'll work, I think. Uh, 
Sometimes your fingers can be your best friend. You can use your fingers as your tools to put on your makeup too. Y'all, I still haven't started to watch that show. Uh, what's it called? Ozark? I still have not started that yet. And a lot of people saying it's good. I haven't started it. Okay. I think that's blended in good. Is it? All right. Now, we're going to go on in with our eyes. And like I told y'all, first I need to put on, first I'm going to put on this color called Imagination. I wore this last time and it, I really did like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down in my, um, I think I'm going to put that like from here, like in my crease up. Then I'm going to put the blue on my, um, I'm going to put the blue on my, my lid. Y'all, okay, so y'all, not to be talking, I'm not talking about this person, but okay, so it's this man that um, lives over here where I stay. And honey, he did not be playing by his parking spot. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, no. Mm. Hello, I'm back. Okay, I'm sorry. My phone rung. And then it rung on my Chromebook. I don't know how to do Do Not Disturb on here. Okay, can y'all hear me? I hope, I hope you can. It is. It keeps you on your toes. What keeps you on your toes? Girl, what did I say? I don't even know what I said. All right, so I'm bringing that all the way up to right under my brow bone. Right up under my brow bone. Oh, or Ozark. It is, it keeps, oh, it's good. It keeps you, I really need to get into it. I really need to, I really need to get into it. I don't know why I didn't start watching it this week. Oh, I know why I didn't start watching it this weekend. I know why. Because I was binge watching, um, Little Big Lies. That's why. So I'll probably start on Ozark um, this weekend, but I have to start on it at nighttime when my kids are asleep because I heard that uh, you, know, you can't watch that with your kids and you don't want them to accidentally walk in the room on you while you're watching it. So I got to watch it in my bedroom and uh, watch it when they sleep or when they definitely occupy it. Y'all just love this color. It's so pretty. Can y'all see the color? I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know. Sometimes this um I'm on my Chromebook and uh sometimes it just don't I feel like the color payoff ain't, ain't right. Let me see. Did this help if I try to clean wipe it off? Did that help? Girl, okay, yeah. Oh my god, yes. I finished all American girl. Girl. Honey, when I tell you I was crying like a baby, like from episode to episode, from scene to scene, oh, I love that show. I really do like this show. So let me ask you a question. Do you feel like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, what's the husband's name? Tay Diggs character. Do you feel like his wife should forgive him, or you think it's she should go ahead and uh, go through with the divorce? Like y'all know, I said before, I said before on on, on my channel, um, I do not tolerate, you know, cheating and stuff like that. I think it's wrong, um, but then again, I can't personally say you can. Why did I put that up? You never really can say, I mean, you can say what you won't do and what you will do. But sometimes when you're actually in a situation, 
you know, what you think you, how you react may be different. So, yeah, I don't know. I felt like that maybe they could do counseling and work it out. But I know she hurt. And then I know it has to hurt considering who he cheated with. So, yeah, I don't know. But it was a good show, honey. It was a good show. It is a good show. I'm looking forward to season three. But y'all know what I think is going to happen? I wonder if... uh. I wonder if, okay, so y'all know Spencer, he ended up being with his ex-girlfriend from um from his previous school. I can't think of none of the none of the names of the people right now. Remember that one night they had that night, and then they call he called her the next day and she was like, you know, she know what it is or whatever. I was like, you know, I bet they're gonna write in she pregnant. I think she's gonna end up pregnant. I think she's gonna end up pregnant. I could be wrong, but that's kind of like what I what I sensed uh, that they were setting it up for. Hey, sis, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, yeah, that blue bright, y'all. I like it though. So yeah, we rocking that bright blue today, y'all. I don't y'all can't even. I don't even think it's showing y'all how bright it is. It is really bright. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, like it, I like it, I like it a lot. But yeah, I think they're gonna. I think Spence about to have a baby mama. Girl, honey, y'all know I go to school to be a. Um, I did feel bad for her, honey. She, she. Oh my God, poor child. Hey, Connie. Yes, I feel bad for Layla, too. Being in that big house all by yourself. This blue popping, y'all. It literally matched my nails. Like, literally. Oh, my gosh. Who knew? Who freaking knew? Yeah, that looked good. Okay, so um, I was, I'm not in school currently, but I was previously in school going back. That's what I could say. Going to school for uh, teaching to get my teacher certification. And y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, having to teach your own kids is a whole nother level of teaching. I tell you that much. I have years of teaching um, pre-K, uh, teaching preschool, uh, teaching four and five-year-olds, you know, the five-year-olds who, who missed the, the cutoff or whatever. Y'all, but teaching my own kids, honey, that's a whole nother level of teaching. All right, I'm going to take this... Uh, this little fluffy brush right here. And I'm going to kind of, oh, that might be too big. I need to, oh, let me use this fluffy brush. This this is a cute little fluffy brush. It's from Too Faced Pink. All right, I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend right here where these two colors meet. So it have more of a, a transition instead of like just a cut off. So I'm just rubbing that right along the line where the two colors meet so it can blend. I don't know if you can see the difference between that and that. Can you see the difference? The girl for real, honey. I honey, honey child. Oh, my kid. I think it's because I don't know, like I don't know. I don't know what it is. Because it's only three. I only got three that I really have to help. Because Braylon, he can, he pretty much self teach himself. He he knows what to do. I think what's frustrating is that it's something new. And I know there's, 
uh, people uh, that homeschool. And um, but it's like you you set the thing from the beginning, knowing that like we homeschool and this is the expectation. This is our this is our uh, our schedule. Blah 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 blah. But when you been going to public school all year, then you go to spring break and boom, you ain't going back no more. That stuff is crazy. Well, they say you know it's crazy. Man. Period. It's not, honey. That's what. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Not even just my own kids be having me reconsidering uh, teaching. It's just the stuff that you read about in the news, and you know, sometimes some parents, the lack of support um, that they give because I don't really think they be understanding like how some of these kids be acting in the school. And um, yeah, I'm that parent. I don't tolerate that. My kids act up, but I mean, if my kids act up, I'm I'm there correcting it. Um, but my kids know better. And I think that comes from setting the the uh setting the the boundaries at home, I guess. And um from a very young age, I instill in my kids constantly, even at this moment, don't lie to me. I don't care what it is, don't lie to me. You always tell me the truth, always. Girl, okay, <laughs> girl, eating up all the stuff. That's why I was saying uh, yesterday that um, some days when I uh, when I get out early, like yesterday when I worked at um, when I worked that only like two hours, I get off at uh, got off at ten thirty. If I have time, um, I take them to the school, to their school, and let them get the free lunch from their school because, honey, yes. Because what you said, because that be want to eat up all the food, like all the food, y'all. This little bronzer is so nice. I'm just gonna do the bronzer today. I usually do my uh, highlight, but I'm not gonna do the highlight today. Yeah, like I said, taking care of your own kids is hard. Like we have to teach him, but sometimes like I work in child care and there's been some kids that have really been difficult to deal with. And when you talk to the parents about it, it's kind of like they don't care or maybe it's not that they don't care. It's just that they have so much going on in their personal life. Um, and I'm not making excuses, but maybe they just don't really see it. And then sometimes I think kids just be acting out because they need attention. Yeah. Your son, Piggy, girl, mine is too. Uh, especially uh, Don Don. Don and uh, Bray, they real picky. Really, really picky. Super picky. The twins, not so much. And I do believe that has a lot to do with what they say from when you um, first start introducing your kids to food. I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, when I had Brayla, you know, Brayla's my oldest, honey. I was like, yeah, you sure don't. Y'all, Brayla. When he was born, or not when he was born, but when he started transitioning to, hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee. When Brandon started transitioning to, um, uh, what's it called, table, not table food, baby food. And so the doctors, the parent books, people will tell you, don't introduce them to applesauce, bananas, and like the fruits and stuff first. And I was like, okay. They say, you know, introduce them to the bitter, like the green beans, the peas. Um, then, then go into like the green, the green vegetables, and then go into like the yellows, like the carrots, the sweet potatoes. Um, I said carrots. I didn't mean carrots. Carrots are yellow. I meant the sweet potatoes. The no carrots are orange. What am I talking about? The orange foods, and then you go into the yellow foods. Okay. Well, no, honey, not me. I was like, my baby don't want that. I tried to feed him those green peas, and he spit them out. He didn't want them. So I was like, okay, let's go to the bananas. He, honey, he told the bananas up. So instead of me just, uh, instead of me uh, continue to, continuing to try to get him to eat the vegetables, I just started giving him the bananas, the applesauce, whatever he wanted, I gave him. And like, honey, he was my first child, so whatever he got, he wanted, he's super spoiled. And so then by the time he got the table food, honey, he was not interested in nobody's um, vegetables, green beans, nothing like that at all. So that's fine. 
whatever. You don't have to have vegetables. Because honestly, at that point in my life, I really didn't care for vegetables that much. As an, as I've gotten older and older, I have a, I have a, I've, oh my God, I found a love for, uh, for vegetables. Honey, that boy to this day still do not like vegetables. Now with my twins, I said, okay, I ain't going to make that mistake with the twins. I'm going to introduce them to vegetables first. They're going to eat vegetables, whether they like it or not, they're going to eat it. They're going to eat these vegetables. So that's what I did. I introduced them. I didn't buy no applesauce. I didn't buy no bananas. I only bought um, I only bought the, the vegetables. And then I also introduced them to uh, cereal, plain, like plain, you know, this baby food cereal that you put sometime in their bottles and stuff. I fed that to them plain without adding applesauce or nothing to it. So that's how they got introduced to table food. And then when it was time for them to get table, table food, I, I gave them green beans and I chopped up broccoli and I just gave them a lot of vegetables. And you know what? They love vegetables. Donovan, well, he came along and I was going through some stuff when I had Donovan, y'all. I just going through some stuff and I didn't, I ain't gonna say I didn't care, but basically I didn't care. I was just kind of like, you know what? You don't want it? Fine. What do you want? And I'm like that now, like right now with him. He he the baby, honey. He get his way. Like last night, the kids, the well, the night before they had green beans. And they had the green beans last night too, but there was leftover green beans. But the night when I first originally cooked the green beans, Diamond said, I don't want no green beans. I said, okay, you know how to eat them. <laughs> And the twins is like, Mom, how come he don't have to eat green beans? But we do, because y'all like green beans. Eat them. He don't. Like, don't start. So then I'd be like, no, just eat, just eat a few green beans. Here, just eat a few. Just eat a few. Please, just eat a few. And he'll eat a few. And he'd be like, uh, but I don't like it. It's going to make me sick. I'm going to throw up. Y'all, that's crazy. I can't believe I be doing the stuff that I do sometimes. But hey, I love all my kids the same. But Y'all, it's something about that baby. The baby get what he want, when he want it, and how he want it. He like he loves pizza. He likes junk food. He likes junk food. But I really feel like it has a lot to do with how I introduce table food to them. Oh, in case y'all wonder, I'm trying to take some old glue off of my lashes. And um, it's not going too well. I really need to get in the habit of soaking my lashes when I take them off. Oh, y'all know what? Oh, there you go. I feel like I did all that. I don't even have my. Uh... All right, y'all. So hold up real quick. I'm going to put, uh, put my lashes on. But what color? I got the blue. Should I do red lip? I feel like a red lip might be too much. But remember, I'm Wonder Woman in it. Out today is Wonder Woman. It was not Wonder Woman week. It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and we're doing superhero theme at work. And I'm wondering where my Wonder Woman stuff. So should I do? Okay, this is not red. I don't even have red in here. I don't. Oh yes, I do. So should I do a red lip, or should I do a like nude lip? Red lip, red and nude. Y'all, let me know. Y'all let me know, think about it while I put my lashes on, and then I need to figure out if I want to put on an eyeliner. And I think I do want to put on this gold eyeliner. Um, I don't want to, do I want to do black or gold? I think I'm going to do a little bit of gold down here in my bottom of my lash line. See, just a little pop of gold. Cute, right? All right. I got one red lip, okay. Got two red lips. Okay, sis. Red it is, looks like. Red is winning. All right, get the lash glue. Sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna hear the line, people. They loud, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Ooh, don't come out so fast. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. Slow your roll.
Y'all, I blew my lashes off. I mean, I blew them off the table. Hold up. But one of them, like, one of them, I blew the other one off. What am I doing? My Shalina, what are you doing, dear? Get the other one ready. So that one gonna go over here. That one gonna go over there. I have to concentrate when I'm dealing with lashes, y'all. I'm not a professional. I don't know how sometimes these girls do it. They make it look so easy. They just be popping them lashes on without even thinking twice. What you say, sis? Hold on. Why does this stand way down here? Mmm. <laughs> Are you funny? <laughs> Honey, yes. Girl, I mean. <laughs> Girl, honey, yes. I remember when uh, <laughs> Braylon was a baby. Girl, me and his daddy used to get into it all the time. Not all the time, but we used to get into it about like he like you because you, he he already had a he already had a son. He got his he got a son that's older than Braylon, so Braylon's not his Braylon. So Braylon is his dad's baby, and Braylon is my oldest, so he got a unique dynamic about him. Um, but his dad would be like. Um, you babying him, you let him <laughs> control you. Cause honey, I mean, he was my only child at the time. And you know, I was a young, I had him at 23 and um, honey, I'd be tired too. Cause then I, at that time I worked full, full time, like straight 40 hours a week. Sometime I worked over 40 hours a week. Some, there would be days when I would work like 10, 12 hours with like a two hour break. I mean, not 10, 12 hours with a two hour break. Y'all, I'll be tired. So when we be on our way home, and Braylon be like, I want, I want chicken nugget. I want chicken nugget. I want, I want a, a I want a meal. I want happy meal. I want happy meal. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he was like, you better stop. I'm like, here's what he wants. You know, he can't be making decisions. I mean, honestly, even now, I have to really, um, I really have to have some self control with myself because, honey, when I tell you, my, uh, my Braylon and uh, Donovan. The twins too, really. All my kids. When I say they spoiled, they spoiled. Ask my mom. They spoiled. But especially Donovan, y'all. Donovan, when he was going through, uh, uh, when he was wearing pull-ups. So I, at the time, I wasn't working. So I would get, uh, when I was getting my um, child support, I would come on Tuesday. Would get deposited into my account on Tuesday. Every other Tuesday. So every other Tuesday that in the morning we would get up. I take the kids, uh, the twins to school, and then me and Donovan would go to Walgreens to get his pull-ups because I like the uh, Walgreens brand of pull-ups. So we we're going there to get his pull-ups, and honey, of course he want a train, or yeah, usually it's a train or some type of toy, but mostly it was trains. You think I told him no? I did not. That's why he got so many trains now. Donovan, Donovan always got what he wanted. He still do. But Donovan, see, Donovan is my baby, and he's also his daddy's baby, so he's super spoiled. This is the thing. I'm aware that my kids are spoiled, but this is the thing. I expect a lot from my kids, too. Although that they're spoiled, I expect a lot from them. And they know I don't, I don't, I don't reward bad behavior, so if they acting up, mm-mm. They ain't getting it. They act up with me. They act up at school. They act up at daycare. Anybody tell me they've done something wrong? Nope. Uh, nope. They ain't getting it. Nope. They ain't getting nothing from me. <clears throat> but I've I've uh I've implemented a new rule at home, especially right now since you know they're not physically going to school and all they want to do is be on electronics all day. So. 
they have phones, but they're old phones of mine. They're not turned on, but they can get on the internet and uh, download games and download apps or whatever. And they can uh, get on YouTube Kids and all that good stuff. So I implemented a new rule that you can't just have a phone. You have to earn it. So Vicky was like, what? Well, how am I going to earn it? I said, girl, by doing your eye stations, doing your school work, and cleaning up. But not just doing your normal chores. I mean, like, you see something out of, out of place, you just take the initiative to clean it up. Okay, I hope this lash is going to stay. It feel like it ain't. All right, anyway, hopefully that work. I mean, these lashes sometimes just, I don't even think this is a mate. I don't know if that's the same brand or not. It, it kind of don't look like it, but y'all know what? At this point, too late. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know when I don't care. I don't know. Oh, snaps. I might have let that get too dry. Yeah, I did. I'm running my mouth. What I do with my lash lid? It got too dry. It already dried right there in the middle. It's kind of cute. I love these. These are my favorite lashes, y'all. I do like the ones from Dollar Tree a lot, but I ain't gonna lie. These um these kiss ones, uh the wispy kiss something. I don't even know. I, I have to link them down below. I talked about them in the video before. Um oh, I never heard of that. I gotta look it up. Hold on, look it up. All right, let's see if this is going to work. I had to let it get tacky. Y'all, I don't know. Like, I don't even feel like doing my hair. I'm like, do I need to keep my... I don't, I don't want to keep it up in this rag today, though. I had a rag on uh, a scarf. I said rag. Y'all know I'm from the country. I don't want to keep it in this rag all day. I meant scarf. Um, just slash if you don't lay your little simple stuff down, if you don't stick to the corner of my eyelid, and stop being disrespectful. Stop being disrespectful, okay? This one is not acting right, of course. All right, that'll have to work. Ooh, my eyes got water. That'll have to work, whatever. Girl! Oh my God, I swear we twins. I just watched the movie with, um, Nicole Kidman in it. Oh, my eyes are watering, y'all. I just watched a movie with Nicole Kidman in it um, the other day when I was twisting my hair. And um, I then I realized that I was like, all this time I was watching that movie. Um, I mean, that t what happened to my lipstick, y'all? All the time I was watching the show with um, Little Big Lies, I didn't realize that there was uh, Nicole Kidman playing that role. It took me a long minute to realize that. She looked different. Girl, look at us. We like the same people. I swear, for real. I'm just, I'm wearing this soft red lip because I am going to work. You know, I wore that strong red lip yesterday, honey, but I didn't wear no, uh, I didn't wear no lashes and I sure didn't wear no blue, uh, Smile for the camera now. Click, click. Honey, yes. I don't know what it is about y'all. Went from being cute to looking, woo! <laughs> looking crazy. I'm going to go ahead and take my twist down. I'm going to wear my hair out today because I'm hot. I don't feel like having that uh, scarf on my head all day. So, 
I'm a star in the bag. Take my twist down. Take my twist down. Do, do, do. Do, do. Let my hair get some, uh, Eric is to my scalp, y'all, because, uh, yeah, I've been having it in a scarf since, well, it was either in a scarf or a bonnet since Monday. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me not get excited because I'm not done. You know, sometimes you take out a few curves, you get excited, then you get to another area, you're like, no, they ain't right. Nope, it ain't right. It ain't right. But right now, I'm liking the way they look. I am. I cannot even front. I can't even front. But let me speed up because, honey, what time is it? What time is it? Oh, it's 9.57. Yeah, I need to speed up. Good thing is, I'm already dressed. Oh, girl, why do people got to be so loud out there? People loud. Super loud. I have to do the ones in the back smaller because my hair, not in the very back, like not the name of my neck, but the ones like in the middle, I did smaller sections because my hair is, um, I don't know, it's like it's thicker back there or something. So I have to do that to get more of like a defined curl. I don't have to do that to the hair in the front usually anyway. Wait, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, wait, why this twist ain't happening for me? What you doing, boo? See how these are these up here toward coming toward the front are a little thicker, a bigger twist. So like I think up here only got what three? Yep. Y'all, sometimes I just don't know what I want to do with my hair. Like, I low-key want to get it braided. Well, I was going to braid it myself, but then I think about it, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to sit there and braid my hair. Oh, I just don't know sometimes. What we come to with this with this wig of mine, but oh, sis, my sister, honey, your hair was cute, honey. That picture you sent me, your hair was really cute. Really, really cute. It was so cute. Your hair was so cute. I was like, oh, honey, she did that and she did that on her own. Baby girl got skills. Yeah, I seen that. I, I ain't that girl. I can't. I ain't that talent. Cause one thing I can't do, I can't French braid. Like I can, but I can't. Like I can on like I'm. Well, I can a little bit. Like I I, I French braided Brandon's hair, a uh, coin rolled it or whatever, and also uh like VVs and. But on my own, I just never can do it right. But I guess it don't have to be perfect for a crochet hairstyle. I don't know, but you got me thinking. I might have to do it. I do got some crochet hooks. You got a crochet hook. Because I just be wanting to have a like a simple get up and go hairstyle where I don't have to do this. Oh, okay. It's cute. And I like the red. It's real pretty. All right. My comb is not in here, so I'm not going to be able to fluff my hair out on camera. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to go in the bathroom and do that. And, um, okay, y'all. So, y'all help me decide on my lip color. What earrings should I wear? Should I wear these gold hoops or should I put on my, um, Wonder Woman earrings? These are my Wonder Woman earrings I wore yesterday. 
or show where to go hoops. You know, I guess there's such a thing as overkill, but then again, I mean, how often do you get to wear all your Wonder Woman stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go fluff out the back. I'm gonna have to go fluff out the back. You said we're a Wonder Woman. All right, let's see. Let's give a looky see. Let's give ah, myself. Let's give a looky look. I mean, I you know I really don't wear these that often because these are like those type of earrings that you wear only for yeah, thank you. You only wear for like things like this, especially since I pulled out my blue eyeshadow and things. I guess I should wear. Them. I can't get the back off. There we go. Oh. All right, y'all. I gotta go to the bathroom to get my comb and fluff my hair out, and then I'm just gonna gel. Oh, maybe, maybe not. I think not gel. Uh, get my edge control and lay my edges. Out. Not lay them, but just kind of you know do them like that. But then again, I might not because it was funny. I gotta get to work. So I see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop some L's in the comment section if you watch live. If you're catching a replay, hashtag replay. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit the bell so you'll be notified anytime I do an upload. And like always, until next time, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay unique. Bye, guys.